Hey, what's going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today we're checking out some 3D text in Illustrator. Okay, so basically I thought it's going to be more interesting rather than, you know, this, but I can make it more dynamic eventually. You know, it was like a short test and I'm going to show you how to do it. All right, first step, select your text. I'm going to right click on group. I'm going to select the Panther. Uh, I'm going to group it. I'm going to press Control G. I'm going to Control G, G to the vision. I'm going to put them close, scale it down, make a copy. I'm going to make the vision white. Select both of these texts and we kind of go to the 3DM materials. If you don't have the 3DM materials, you can go to Windows and select 3DM material. Good. I can act activate the extrude. I can increase the depth, some around 400. And I'm going to go down to the rotation of axis front. I'm going to go with isometric left. You can also activate the ray tracing. Check it out if I'm going to activate it. I'm going to go with high render. Okay, it made it more clear. What I need to do is actually act activate the bevel. And I'm going to decrease the width of the devil bevel to 10 to. There you go. It it's more like more smooth. Go here to the light. I'm going to go with the rotate. I'm going to rotate it to minus 130, somewhere around there. So the light basically comes comes from the left now and it looks even better now. Let me check. I'm going to deactivate the ray tracing so I can work a little bit faster now. But I don't know what is going on at the, you know, this one. I can actually recolor it to something else. Some lighter so I can see. There you go. Something like that. So I can arrange it until the ray tracing is off. And also I'm going to put on the black. I'm going to go back to the 3D materials. I'm going to activate the material and go down towards the painted wood. I can activate the painted wood to add some nice texture on it. I'm going to go here with a repeat on 100. This looks pretty nice. I'm going to activate the ray tracing to see how it looks. Looks pretty good. I'm going to deactivate the ray tracing. So yeah, so far so good. I'm going to deactivate the ray tracing. So the process is going to, is going to be like more faster that way. I'm going to select them all, right click group and I'm going to press and hold all, drag it down. It creates a copy, right click, arrange center back. And I'm going to position this somewhere around here. I'm going to un ungroup the bottom one, right click on group. I'm going to select the vision and put it here. I'm going to right click arrange center back look at that i'm gonna select them again right click group select them all press and hold alt also press shift to drag down right click arrange center back so slowly we're starting to create a nice pattern select all press and hold alt drag it down right click arrange center back with the mouse with the upper key of the mouse you can pull it up let me see. So we got all of it. I'm going to select all and I'm going to go here to the vertical distribute center. So now I'm going to need to select all right click on group. I can select, you know, the Panther, the black with the texture and I still can activate the ray tracing because it's like the same thing, you know, it's similar. But, you know, if you select the white and you select the one with the pattern, it won't work out. So. Check this out. If I select the two vision and I search for the third vision and fourth vision, I still can activate the ray tracing, which is pretty dope. See that? So it starts to work. Same thing with the Panther. I go and search for the Panther words. And mainly this is how you make it in Illustrator. It's kind of manual. It's kind of basic. It's kind of amateuristic. You know, if you want to do it professionally, that you purchase a professional uh, 3D software and there you can make it more accurately, way more faster and it's way more advanced. So yeah, this was it. Thanks for watching and if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye-bye.